Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Marcos. Hello, good evening, Adriana and Marcos. How are you? I'm great, teacher. I would like to apologize with you because I can't connect yesterday at the class because I didn't have internet connection. Oh, okay. So yesterday you didn't have internet connection, so that's why you couldn't be in the class. Yeah, teacher. The internet, um, we have internet until this morning. Okay. Yeah, so sorry. What is I'm your company? Ah, <laughs> uh, claro. Oh, yeah. They can yeah, be great. really bad. Yeah, exactly. I think all the companies are in that way. Yeah, but because I have heard that theory is the same, right? The same case. Yeah, but I don't know. I have had Claro and I don't like it. They, they, they have a lot of problems. And the connection is never what they say it is, but yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Welcome and thank you for being here, Adriana. Thank you for being here, Marcos. And thank you for being here, Glenda. I really appreciate your punctuality. So we're going to start the class because, yeah, it's already time to start. Let me... Um, I know that yesterday's topic was a little bit confusing for some people, right? Because, yes. huh? Yeah, uh, yes, it's confusing, a little, little bit confused. Yeah, that's why I asked you yesterday if you knew what the passive boy was. And everybody say, yes, we know what the passive boy is and stuff. But right now, I'm going to explain to you the passive voice detailed. Okay, so, but I need you to pay attention, like full, full attention to what we are saying right now. But first, uh, send me what the date it is. Send me the date. Okay, I only have Adriana's. Perfect. You three guys did a good job. So now let me explain to you what yesterday we were talking about. So in the passive voice, we need to pay specific attention to the, well, let's show the examples we had yesterday so it's easier to understand because those, pro those, those were the problems, right? Okay, here we are. So this is a sentence in the active voice, okay? This is an active voice. You can see the, right now here, the subject. You can see that is in the present continuous. Obviously it's threatening, so it's present continuous. Then the object of the sentence, what we are talking about. So if we are going to talk about this in the passive voice, the first thing I need to do is identify what is the, so the object of this sentence. So the object of this sentence is this right here. The health of people in urban areas. That is the object. So if I'm going to go with the object first, then I'm going to write it. The health of people in urban areas. Okay, that's the first thing. That's, I think, the easiest thing to do. But now, here, I'm not going to use this verb as the verb to be. No, because the verb, the main verb, the principal verb, the most important verb here in the sentence needs to be in the past 
participle. So I'm not going to change that into ing or anything else. Past participle, I repeat, it needs to be past participle. So what is going to indicate that I'm talking about the present continuous? Then we have our auxiliary. Our auxiliary is the verb to be. Is, and then we're gonna use being, being. So the base form of the verb to be, we're gonna use it with ing. Then the verb to be is indicating that this passive voice sentence is in the present continuous. I hope you're paying attention. Again, the health of people in urban areas, that's, that was the object, now it is the subject. Then is be in, and now yes, after the verb to be indicates the time or the tense of the sentence, we are going to, <clears throat> sorry, we are going to use the verb in the past participle. So the main verb we're seeing there is threatening, threatening. We're gonna say threaten now. Thank you. Tre -te. Like this, because this, this, this is the past participle of that verb. The health of people in urban areas, <clears throat> sorry, is being threatened. Now, I'm going to add the object of this sentence, and to add it, I'm gonna say by. By, that is the one in the parenthesis right there. By air pollution, like that. Okay, so important thing. The main thing you need to focus on is on the object. Once you have the object of the sentence, then you need to focus on the time. So what? What is the tense? I mean, it's tense, no time. The tense is present continuous. So it's present continuous. I'm going to use is being because the verb to be, I will repeat again. The verb to be is the one that tells the tense. So this is going to be in the present continuous. Then threaten them. That is in the past participle. I'm going to do the following one again. We're gonna do another one. Livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground water. We did this once yesterday. We're just doing a review in this moment. <clears throat> okay, now let's see here. This, the object in this sentence is soil and underground water. That is the object. Now that I have identified the object, I'm gonna use it as a subject. Soil and under ground water. Now I'm going to identify the tense. What is the tense of this statement? If you can see here, what is the tense? Present perfect. It's the present perfect. Thank you very much. Yes. So now I won't use this in the present perfect. Uh, pero siempre se usa el past participle, así que como que sí. But the thing is that the verb to be is the one that indicates the tense. So I'm going to use have with the past participle of what verb? I just said it, the verb to be is going to help me. So what verb needs to be in the past participle next to have? Uh, have been. Yeah. Why? So the verb uh, be, right? Yes, in, in. Uh, have been contaminated. Contaminated. And contaminated, we use it like that because we always use the past participle of the main verb. Contaminated because of, then we're gonna add this one, because of, then we see 
livestock farms. Livestock farms. And that's the correct one. <clears throat> now again, let's look here. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, these ones, we didn't do these ones yesterday. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna do these ones right now. The burning of gas, oil, and coal has created acid rain. Acid rain. So what is the object in this sentence, guys? Acid rain. Acid rain. Acid rain, what? What is the tense? And uh, has create. What is the tense? What is the tense? That is? Um, past participle. No, the tense is when tenemos el have has with create. Present perfect. Present perfect. Yes. So acid drain. Has been. And what is has it? Been. Has been because been. we need the verb to be. Has been what? Create. Created. Created. As a result okay. of. Now what? Of the, the burning of gas, oil, the burning, and coal. Uh -huh, the burning of gas, oil, gas, and of gas, oil, oil and coal. Like that. Right? Yeah? Yes. Let's try to copy this and paste it here so we can... Let's see if it is correct. Yeah, it's correct. You see? Wow. Very good. Good job. Good job, guys. Yes. So first we need to focus on the ob object. Then we need to focus on the time. And the time is not with the verb, main verb. It's with the verb to be. Now let's, the last one, I'm not gonna do it because at, at least you're going to do one. Por lo menos van a hacer uno ustedes, like alone. Okay, now I'm going to give you some examples. What is it? Miss, excuse me. Uh, could you, um, let me see an two, please. Could, could you let me what? Number two. Ah, ya lo borré. Ah, ok, Miss, thank you. Pero espérame, aquí lo tengo. Ahí está. Thank you, Miss. Ok. Mm. Now. Now, here, guys, let's look at this. Look at these examples. So, these examples are basically in the... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I need to move it right here. Okay, so these sentences that I'm showing to you are in the active voice. So active voice. I make, okay, so in all of these ones, we have I as a subject. Okay, so if we have I as a subject, wait a second. Dame un segundo, quiero ver si está aquí todo completo. Yeah, it's correct. Okay, let's see. So, I make a cake. What is the object in this sentence? A cake. A cake, excellent. A cake. It's the simple present. So if it is the simple present, I'm just going to use the is. Porque solo el presente simple. Simple present, just like that. A cake is now make in the past participle. What is the past participle of make? Make. Make it. Made. Made. Made, like made in China. Excuse Como me. En China, ¿verdad? Yes. Made in China. A cake is made. And this is the passive voice, as simple as that. But if I want to identify who is making the cake, I can say, no. by me, right? By me. 
Okay, like that. Now, let's go with the next one. I'm making a cake. I identify just by looking at this sentence that the tense of this sentence is what? What is the tense? Continue. Present continuous. So now I'm going to go again with the object, which is a cake. A cake. Now, in the present continuous, what is going to show the present continuous? I told you. It's been. It's been. Exactly. Because the verb to be is the one that is going to have the tense. No, the other verb, because the other verb is always going to be in the past participle. A cake is being made. Who is making the cake? By me. For, for by by me. me, like that, okay? So take a screenshot of the other sentences. We're going to practice that. Take a screenshot, please. Okay, now share the screens when we go to the breakout rooms. <clears throat> you need to complete these other ones. And I'm going to go and check what you are doing. Everyone has to participate, okay? So try to participate. And let's go here. There we go. Let's go. Please join the breakout rooms. Ahí está la invitación ya para que se unan. Alex, no le llegó la invitación. Alex. Okay, teacher. Le llegó la invitación. Yes, but, but um, just so I, I don't, I don't can't work with the um, one people and I prefer work uh, only. Okay, okay. Trabaje solo y me las manda aquí entonces al chat. Okay.
Wait a second, I, I, I power on my, my laptop. The five, what is? The five is a center, is a center in, 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 in present perfect. Thanks. The face is okay. 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 Hello. Wait a sec. In the in the no, in the second one. Uh, Recuerden que tienen que hablar. Tienen que decir no. por qué. Tienen que decir, y ahorita por qué va esto, y este porque es el objeto. Mandar la oración es fácil. Yo escribirles la oración podría hacerlo fácilmente. Escribirse las, vaya, esta es, esta es, esta es. No, el asunto ahorita de los breaker rooms es discutir, bueno, ¿cuál es el object? ¿Cuál es esto? ¿Cuál es lo otro? No solamente enviarla, please. In, in, in the, the first... Okay, teacher. The, the, the object is a cake. Yes. Um, by me? No. So, como que le está haciendo el no, because you use the past and now is 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 a time. It's a time. Hmm. Okay, I don't understand. I'm yeah, sorry. Teacher, we are lost <laughs> on the number four. Uh, and the number four, and the number five, and the number <laughs> three. I'm sorry. <laughs> huh. Interesting. I was making a cake. What is the object? Okay. okay, so I'm gonna write a cake. After I finish that, what is the tense? Past continuous. Past continuous. Past continuous. Past continuous. Okay. So, what is going to be the past continuous? I told you. What is going to help me with the tense? The verb to be. Hmm? Ing. The verb. Okay, the verb to be with ing. Also, that past continuous. So, like was. What was? Making. No, no. making. No. no, making. No tiene que quedar in making. Mm -mm. This is made. Made. Was made. What? made. Was made. Was made. <clears throat> no, because okay. it's the past. Con that is the simple past. That is the number three. Was, what is going to help me? Look, es como la que tienen arriba, guys. Es como la que tienen en la segunda. Nada más que pasado. Uh -huh. Okay. Was being made. Uh -huh. By me. Exactly. 
But B ah, with, okay. with W E, right, teacher? But B with W E, no? Yeah. No? No. B. No, B in, like that. Yeah. Como lo tengo escrito ahí. Um, yeah. The simple past and, and the past continuous is the same, only change the, the position, no? Okay, it was being made by me. Yes, exactly, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Hello, Oscar. Oscar, hello. Hello, hello, how are you? Very good, what happened? I'm so sorry for, I'm late, so I'm just kind of stuck in the traffic. Okay. Going to harm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you to a breakout room where your classmates are practicing the topic, okay? Okay. okay. Alex ya terminó sus oraciones. Um, I re, I estoy revisando ahorita. Ok, ok. Correctas. Ok.
teacher. Tell me, dígame. Uh, could you could you please check me my sentences in, in the WhatsApp group, please? Okay, I'm gonna check right now. A cake is made by me, a cake is being made by me, a cake was made by me, yes. A cake was mm, no. Number one, two, three, four, five. Five is incorrect. The five. Yeah. Okay. Please help me. I may I have made a cake. Uh -huh. a cake. Mm -hmm. Ah. No, 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 no. And this one is like I was making a cake. I was making a cake. So in this one, we are using the present continuous, right? Okay, it is a K was uh, oh, lo hice abajo. It's very okay. similar to the number two. A K is no a K was because we're talking about was yeah a K was um please please check the 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 next one is the is is the correct for the number four but, a cake was being made by me. Correct, correct. Uh, is, uh, a la hora de corregir lo hice abajo y no arriba. <laughs> mm, was being made, pero aquí abajo me tiene have been made. Y es was being made. Yeah. Was being uh, made. Was, yeah. Uh, me refiero a, al being. Mm, en el siguiente creo que es I cake. Had. Been. Uh, had. O también beans. Sí, siempre el verbo tuve. Oh, hay una cosa que estaba equivocada. Ok. I cake was being made. By me. Ok. Y la otra, a cake had, has been made by me, because a cake is third person has been made by me. I had, had made a cake, a cake had okay. been, had been, again, been with B W E N N had been made by me. Okay. Has been made by me. Ya vamos a corregir todas juntas ahorita, Alex. Bueno, ahorita que viene oh. su compañero, ok? Oh, ok, ok, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so I want to go to the next topic, <laughs> but I cannot go because I think that we're still having problems with this topic. Okay, so I need you to pay attention to this. El verbo to be va a indicar en qué tiempo está la oración. No me tienen que modificar otro verbo. El verbo to be. Si es presente continuo, it's been. Si es pasado, pasado continuo, was been. Si es presente, perfecto, have been. Pasado perfecto, had been. 
any others. Es el, pre, el verbo to be, ¿ok? Se lo voy a decir en español porque ya llevamos un ratito ahí. De nuevo. Entonces voy a volver aquí. I made a cake. A cake was made by me. Porque el, per, el de nuevo, ¿en qué, ¿en qué tense se encuentra esto? ¿En qué tiempo? ¿En qué tense? ¿En qué tense está esto? Pasado. Pasado. Entonces, ¿Y cuál es el que me va a indicar el, 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 el ¿Cuál es el que me va a indicar que es pasado? Eh, ver, to be. Ajá, entonces, ¿qué es lo que va a pasar aquí? I was. Was, porque es el pasado de B. I was. I mean, I mean, I was, perdón. A cake was. A cake was. 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 was then, no, was been, ¿por qué? Was made. Was made by me. By me. My. Siguiente. I was making a cake. ¿Cuál es este, este tiempo? ¿Cuál es este tense? Pas continuo. Continuo. ¿Qué es lo que me va a indicar que es el pasado continuo? Was making. Was making. Was making. Ven, yeah. voy de nuevo. Voy de nuevo. Aquí es a donde voy de nuevo. Me están diciendo was making. O sea que el verbo principal me lo están haciendo continuo. ¿Y qué les dije? ¿Qué es lo que va a cambiar el verbo? ¿Qué es lo que va a indicar el tiempo? ¿Qué es lo que va a indicar? El verbo to be. Entonces, ¿por, qué? ¿Por qué es was making? Have been. No. Have been. No. Si es was making. ¿Cuál sería el pasado? Continúa. Was, be, was, be, was been. Excelente. Was been. Was been. Was made. Ah. Ok. Was been. And then, y el verbo siempre va a ir en presente perfecto. Este no me lo ponen con making, no me lo ponen. No. Siempre con presente. Uh, I was, a cake was being made by quien? Me. Me. De nuevo, voy aquí con este ejemplo siguiente. ¿Este qué es? Este, ¿Qué tiempo es? ¿Qué tiempo verbal es? Presente. Presente. Perfecto. Perfecto. Identifico el objeto de nuevo. A cake. Ya identifiqué okay. que es presente perfecto. Entonces, ¿cuál va a ser el que va a estar en presente perfecto? El verbo to be. ¿Va a quedar como? Bing. Bing. Okay. Bing. I have a problem with the pronunciation. Bing and Bing. Ok, listen. ¿Cómo se forma el presente perfecto? En la unión de have y el verbo en pretérito, ¿verdad? Entonces, es. Ah, no, en participio. A cake. What? They have. Have. Uh -huh. Have been. Have been. been made, made by me. By Ahí me. está. Eso es todo. Ok. Solo tenemos que identificar el verbo to be. El verbo to be es el que va a cambiar. El, esto siempre va a ser en pasado. Piece of cake. Ajá. Piece of cake now that you think it. <laughs> Diga. Teacher, uh, how has. Ah, ahí ah, es correcto lo que me dice el compañero porque lo hablábamos en la sesión privada, bueno cuando él estaba aquí sí, sí. I remember <risas> porque decíamos que un cake es un third person, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. a cake has been made by me, That's yes been... now, I had made a cake the same structure but with had entonces ¿cómo quedaría? a cake had had Being, being made, by, made by me. Exactly. As simple as this. Super easy. Now, let's think in this one. So, the verb to be is going to be the one in future. No make. The verb to be. So, again, the object is a cake. So, what is the verb to be form in this case? A cake will be made by me. Will be made. Been. You sure? No. 
A ver, aquí están, sí, aquí en, es, aquí en esto, oh, was, pasado. Will, estamos seguros que sí va. Pero el verbo to be, ¿en qué forma va a ir cuando estamos hablando del futuro? Is in present. present. Is a K, is will made by me. ¿Qué? No. 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 Vaya. Okay. Hay, formas, hay formas del verbo to be. La forma del verbo to be, is, am, y are, están conjugadas. La okay. forma del verbo to be, was y were, están conjugadas, porque también son pasados. Solo hay una forma que no está conjugada y en esa se utiliza para el futuro, es... Eh, verbo to be. Eh, el verbo. Eh, ¡Excelente! Como lo supieron. A K will be what? Oh. Be made. Made by me. ¿Se fijan cómo el verbo to be es el que va cambiando? No el otro piece verbo. Ok. Ajá, ahora sí me dicen piece of cake. <risa> ¿Te le duele un poquito menos la cabeza o igual? Mira. So, so. So, so. I'm going to make a teacher. cake. Uh -huh. teacher, I want a question. Why, why you use the the, the verb made in past is is the sentence in the future? Porque, porque el presente, porque la voz pasiva. Siempre el verbo principal va a ir en participio. Oh, thanks. Okay. Siempre en la voz pasiva el verbo va a ir así. Lo que identifica en qué tiempo mm -hmm. verbal estoy hablando es que... This is will. No. ¿Qué verbo es el que the identifica verb, el tiempo verbal? El verbo to be. El verbo to be. Ese es el que va a cambiar. El otro sigue siendo el pasado participio porque okay. la voz pasiva sí lo indica ok, okay. bueno, y aquí tenemos identificado otra vez a cake a cake what, what is the verb to be for a cake going to is going going to ahí me falta el verbo to be ya hice la estructura porque es Be going to, y después tengo que poner que de nuevo. ¿Cómo? Be. Be. Hey, to be, made. be made by uh, me. ¿Se comprende? Yeah. De nuevo, es el verbo to be. No, no estén poniendo que el verbo voy a cambiar este. No, es el verbo to be el que va a cambiar. ¿Ok? Luego, I must make a teacher. Teacher. I, I have a question in in this question in this sentence you can use two two times uh, the verb to be it is in to be sí y no Why? sí y no vaya escúcheme de nuevo en una el verbo to be es el que indica el tiempo lo ven todo aquí el verbo to be que indica el tiempo mm -hmm. Y en esta que está de auxiliar, miren aquí está el verbo to be, está dos veces, lo habían visto. Igual que en esta mm. donde están poniendo I'm making a cake, ahí decía a cake is being made by me, ¿verdad? Están poniendo dos veces el verbo to be, mm -hmm. igual acá. Pasa que es el auxiliar de la estructura de ese tipo, de ese tiempo verbal. El tiempo verbal se llama como is going to. O oh, be plus going to, ¿se acuerdan? Y aquí en el presente continuo es be plus ing. Entonces este solo es auxiliar, este solo es auxiliar, este es el principal. ¿Se entiende un poco más? Yes. Ok, I'm trying. Ok, now. En este caso no estamos hablando de un tiempo verbal. En este caso estamos hablando de qué? ¿Para qué utilizamos most? Superlativo. Debe. Obligación. Obligación, algo de que se debe hacer. So, a oh. cake must. A most oh. what? 
Must be. Must be me. Excellent. Yes, ya Must le agarramos be. al B. Uf, hoy voy a poder dormir tranquila. <ríe> Uh, lo logramos <ríe> a cake must be made by me <ríe> yes uh, yes now we have it por lo menos digamos que ya le entienden un 75% y que no ha sido en vano todo esto <ríe> okay <ríe> sí, sí, sí. Yeah. Yes, Okay, okay, because I was like, oh, my goodness, I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> you know, puedo enseñar Not este tema. Easy. Okay, now, let me share, share a video. I, I, I have other topics today, but none of them were possible. So just listen to this video. We need to listen to this video. Y luego voy a, pues vamos a escuchar otro rapidito también, pero no podía pasar de tema. So this video is going to talk about the reduction of the auxiliary verbs. So for example, when I'm talking about, I was, ma I was making a cake, the was is not really pronounced in the sentence. It's not, I was making a cake, it's I was baking a cake. So was is basically reducted, it's a reduction. So for example, when I'm talking about, she's, she's going to my party, I'm not saying she is going to my party. I'm saying she's going to my party. So the auxiliary verbs have reductions in the pronunciation. That's what we are going to learn. Let's practice your pronunciation. Listen and notice how the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water's being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Okay, so what they want to say here is that these are not pronounced really strong. Fresh water's been wasted. Too much trash being created. Newspapers are, I mean, newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. So it's not that I don't say the word, it's that I say it but it's not so strong in the sentence. Does it make sense to you guys? Tiene sentido para ustedes? Yes, no, blanco, negro, azul, amarillo, rosado. Yes, no. Como aquí no puedo verle tanto las caritas, tengo que ir bajando carita por carita para ver si sí. Yes. Okay, thank you. Now, I'm gonna show you another video. Because, yes, being I thrown away. Wait, 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 wait. Parks have been lost. Wait, I need to show you this video. Uh, well, you can watch this video online. But I need to show you this one. Pueden ver el siguiente video, si se ve. Can you see it? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, Let's yes. See. Can I see? Let's, let's listen to it. This time we'll come up with infinitive clauses and phrases to come up with solutions. Pay attention and take notes. Infinitive clauses and phrases. One thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. Another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story. The best ways to fight HIV AIDS are to do more research and educate people. Let's go back and notice the expressions used on the grammar box. One thing, another way, the best ways. With these expressions, we must continue using one way plus infinitive plus is or are plus infinitive. For example, one way to help the homeless is to build more public housing. Now that you have learned to give solutions, wait, I want to explain it a little bit. No, what happened with the internet? The internet connection is too bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let's check this. 
burada. Okay, now I have it. I'm just gonna share the examples that are there. Okay, now, now I have it. Pay attention here. Oh my God, ahora no me lo voy a mostrar. This foundation to run a story. Se nos poseyó. Está poseído. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my God. Anyways, voy a explicar sin eso. What it's saying is that when we want to say something using the infinitive, for example, one way to learn English is to practice. Se fijan que ahí estoy utilizando dos infinitivos. I'm using, y yo con la cámara apagada. I'm using two infinitives. So the first one is one way to learn English. Remember that the infinitives are the two plus the verb. So one way to learn, to learn English. And then I'm going to use the structure of the verb be is to practice. I'm going to do my example here. Okay. One way to learn. So here I'm using the infinitive to learn. To learn is the infinitive form. So one way to learn English is, I'm using the verb to be as an auxiliary and to connect two ideas. One way to learn English is to practice. Okay. If you can see here, I'm using, wait a second. I'm using one infinitive and I'm using another infinitive. And I'm also using the verb to be, to help me connect these two ideas. We can do another example. It can be like this. A way to help, no manera de, a way to help homeless people is to is to give them a job. So I guess homeless people. Gente, como de bajos recursos. Indigentes, correct. Y si son de bajos recursos, obviamente, muy bajos. So a way to help homeless people is to give them a job. Darles un trabajo, ¿verdad? Solo darles comida. La comida se va a acabar un día. Por darles para que ellos prendan. Okay, a way to help. I'm sorry, that was bad. To help, this is infinitive. Then to give is the other infinitive. And I have right here the verb to be as an auxiliary because it's helping me in to join it's helping me to join you see it's helping me to now i'm using it too it's helping me to join two ideas and two two verbs with the infinitives do you get it i don't think this is so difficult but do you get it yes you get it Okay, this is easier. Basically, this was the topic for today. And I was like, eh, it's not such a big topic. But I needed to explain the other topic to you because that was more difficult, the passive voice. So my advice, guys, will be, please study. Study, study, study the passive voice. Because I remember when I was a student, the passive voice was really difficult to me. Because it's, it's, I don't know, it's weird to use it. And I don't often use a passive voice also. But anyways, try to practice it, try to understand, try to make exercises so you can understand that the verb to be is the tense of the statement. Because if you don't practice all the things that we just did right now, you're going to forget. 
okay? So you need to practice so it gets on your mind and it stays there. The most important thing is it stays there. Yes? Yes. Okay. Voy a ir a dormir tranquilita y espero que ustedes duerman tranquilitos también. Okay? I hope you have a really, 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 really good night. And I hope you understand this topic and you practice a lot. Yes. Thank you, me. Yes. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Have a really good, good night, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. We'll see you tomorrow. Ya no se le pose a la computadora, por favor. Ya, ya, ya. También no sé qué le pasó. Fue raro. It was weird. <laughs> okay, bye, guys.